So we're gonna be tying the first half of the screen. First thing first, please your gilly. Whenever you're tying any gilly, the gilly texture matters. Then apart from the gilly texture, the length of the gilly matter. Like this tie on the screen now. You can't tie this tie without using a, a longer length. Now the least length you can use is 75. And how do you know you're 75? If you have been following me up for a long time, you should know how I measure. And I said from the tip of my hand to my shoulder to the second breast level is 75. When it gets to the shoulder or more, it's 90. The one says at the middle of the chest, that's 60. So now what do I want to do? I want to split this into 70, 30. 70, 30. Now, the thing is, the 70, 30 or I can just decide to do 50-50 or say okay let's do 60-40 60-40 will work well for this time so what are we going to do now you see I'm taking this everything assuming everything is on right then I'll leave this one then I'll fold okay so I get to fold now when you fold a 50 together it becomes 25-25 right now we're having 25-25 and I said I'm looking for 40 so all i need to do since i'm looking for 40 is to add 15 to it and my hands like this it's fine like this not like this like this okay but when you start doing it you don't need to try though you don't need to say it out your everything you do will be calculated from inside all you just need to do is measure now i have 40 i have 60. now you're not taking anything from you're not taking anything at all from you're not taking anything at all from your from your 40 now you take your pleat from inside your 60 so what i'm gonna do make your pleats make your pleats please when you're taking your pleats make sure you use between the first and the second layer so that at least you get at least like four to five pleats then after getting like four to five pleats what you will do after getting like four to five pleats which is needed for you after getting like four to five feet, all you need to do now is arrange properly. So now see what we're gonna do. She will look up. So you see, we're gonna be placing one ear close. This way I one ear close. Just watch. This style is a very easy style. All you just need to do first is make your VBs, like make your VBs come out very very well when you do your v-base to command very well you just notice that this tie is very easy okay now you are arranged please whenever you are working you know that th there's this thing that gives your con uh, your clients comfort whenever you are working this thing is a bit strange whenever you are working there is this thing that gives your client comfort whenever you work make sure you work on the neatness of your gilly don't if you get the neatness of your gilly the more you work try to work out for the neatness you tie today notice that my gilly is getting neater keep it up like that like that like that all right so what do we do now there's this one well this is the short one but what we just do is that it that way so what we do now this normally is the short one if you can see this one this is longer than this so the short one will go up the short one will go up see please and please whenever you are doing any v if you notice you see this line 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 please whenever you are working make sure you always arrange those lines those are the line that makes your gilly neat and firm so you see now after arranging everything this one this way this one this way okay so you tighten it so now she comes forward now you can see the ear is still closed now let me show you how we do this now please put this under put that under use this hand to hold this use that hand to hold it then you take this other hand to hold it because why you are holding here is for because of this ear this one you are working with if you drag any it might pull off so that's why they need to hold it for you so you come to the turn to this side like that so what we do now now there's this thing i normally do one two three four five six make sure this side is not lesser yeah you're pleating so you also get to that six okay but when you're doing it now you have to be careful because it's here most times 
<clears throat> you have to be careful so that when you get up to five or that six, you can still get the ones you fold. So make sure your arrangement, whenever you're making your feet, it's very flat, very flat. So please, when you're arranging, make sure it's coming at it. When you're arranging, make sure it's coming at it. When you're arranging, make sure it's coming at it. Okay, so now, I think we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So you see? See? Now, where's our middle? Here's our middle. So we'll try, arrange it gently, gently, gently. Then the last one. Please, the last one, you can see the last one now. It's coming from the last place. Like it's coming from here. Not me using it to cover here like this. You can see it very wrong. So what I'm doing is coming from here. You know, Pinning, sorry. In pinning, you see this is how I hold my pin. This is how I put my pin. So if you are with knees, it gives you some difficulty. So what you do is goes in, come out. You see? Go in and come out. Go in. It comes out. You understand? So like this now, I've been able to secure it. So now, coming back to here. Coming back to here, see? I'll just raise everything like this now, see? I've raised everything, everything. Now I've raised everything. You see the way I've raised everything now? All I need to do is draft out a shape. From what I've done, draft out a shape, see? But now the shape, whatever shape you are drafting as, please make sure it's giving a round shape. So you draft out the shape, then you join together, you pin. So you try to, where those side you, you are folding in. This side that you are folding in, as you are folding it in here like this, try to pin it to the last. Make sure the pin is holding both sides. Anyway, see, the thing about this thing now, sorry, anything, the thing about this stuff now, whatever place you think you want to pin, just pin. If you think, okay, let me pin this together. Whatever way you pin, so that it will Hold properly, just do it. So, I think I'm going to be pinning more. Okay, let's just assume this side now. I'll bring this side forward and I'll pin. So that's the style. This style now is first of all you getting your V. After getting your V, then you pin properly. Now you can see I'm trying to draft. You can see I'm trying to draft it properly here so that I can pin. So that I can pin properly. Folding is still here, so you have to pin it. Now, this is it. This, this is this is like the first side. So, what do you do now towards the side? Tell her to either put her hands here. Now, see, see, you're gonna take it across here. Let me take it back first. Now me taking it back first, she put her hand like this. So see, taking it across. Then I'll try my best to pin it. Please just manage the sand. I'll try my best to be audible. It's raining. It's raining here. Yeah. Yeah. 
All right, so sorry, just manage with me. It's raining here, so now what we do? You see, we have pinned at the back already. So what we do? We pin here also uh, to help. Out. So you see, we have here. We have more S's. So what do we just do? We fold. We fold. Either fold twice or just once. Just fold whatever we okay, just open here properly, then you fold. And you can see we're opening here, then opening it to fold. Now, one good thing, one good thing about this other side, you can use here to correct the shape of the other side. So now this one is like this. It's like this already. So what we do, see, it's like this. What we do, first of all, we join it together here. So now, this is how you make it look stronger. For this side, you have to see join it with this side. So now you join it, go in and out. Go in and out. So you join it, join it here, join it here. So now, if you are not cool with the shape you got here, after checking it this way, if you're not cool with the shape you got here, you can use this one at the back. You can use this one at the back to arrange the shape properly. Now you see? You can use this one at the back to arrange the shape properly. Then whatever shape you arrange, you pin. Whatever shape you arrange, you Pin. Okay, you pin it together, please. Pin it together. It goes in to both of them, then you take it back again. It gets, goes in into both, then you take it back, then you try to pin the edges so that it's not noticeable that uh, so it's pinned together. You get so all these now, I just take fold, fold. So you see, remember that this. So it's coming out. So this is it. This is like this is just being creative. You get one thing I tell people is when you are telling someone creativity, just understand what they do. They try to figure it out and do your own. But most times you might not get it the exact way the person gets it, but you come out the same way. So now you can see. We have this joining here. So this now, the way this place is, I can decide, okay, let me pin it. So see if it will come out smooth. See, I just decide to pin it like this. Okay, so see now, this is it. This is it. This is it. So what do we do to the back now? The back is always like this. What do we do to the back? Most times you wrap it inside. Hello. Most times you wrap it inside. You wrap it inside the head. Just wrap, wrap, wrap inside. Like you wrap it, see? It's like this now. It's like this now. Then you wrap it inside. Wrap it inside. Wrap it inside. And when you wrap it, you start pinning. Look at it. you start pinning it down to hold. Start pinning it down to hold. So start pinning it down to hold. Okay. So whatever you are doing now, the thing is, that when you are working on this kind of stuff, when you are working like this now, and you notice, oh, this is a, this, this is a, it's pulling or whatever. Just tell the client to hold it for you. Yes. Always tell your client to hold it for you. So you see these ones now, it can be easily wrapped. See, this one, it can be easily wrapped and pinned. I can pin it together here. Yeah? Just pin it with the surface, you know it's strong. Make sure you pin it very well. So after wrapping, I
Now you see this how it is. Please press the back properly. Uh, now this is how it came out. This is how it came out. So you can do yours better. Yours now might come out very well, but whatever you do, then you notice now there's this V1, there's a joining here, and there's a fold. You see the fold? Then the fold this way. Okay, so this is how this tie is tied. Now look at the back, like I said, we roll it. So this is it. This is it. So can't wait to see you try it out. Just try to decorate the back very well. Thank you.